Doc, and welcome to my Filipino adventure. I'm your tour guide, Mike, in America, and Ina, of course, is in the Philippines. That's where I will be pretty darn soon. So it's been a while since I made a video, and uh, I miss you guys. I still love you guys. It's just uh, between work and um, getting ready for the trip, uh, just not a whole lot of time. Plus, one of my uh, main guys, uh, Brian, who was one of my foremans at uh, my company, he just had a baby, so he's got to take a few days off. So uh, I've been putting in a lot of extra hours and um, doing stuff, getting ready. So uh, let's uh, let's do a quick uh, hydroponics, everyone's favorite. But it's a little bit different because I uh, transplanted them into soil. As Hold you can on. see, we have a nice rainy day here out in uh, Michigan. So these so-called broccoli, if that's what they are, they are too big for my pot, for my hydroponics unit, so I transferred them into some soil and I put them outside and they seem to be doing pretty good. There's four of them out there and they're quite huge. So I'll be interested to see when I get back if they're still alive. Um, and if the, the leaves starting to look like broccoli, I don't know, we'll see. Let me show you over here now. So right here is the 12 unit. I'm getting ready for some uh, lettuce. And really, they got not much going on. This is uh, some more broccoli, I guess. I just have it in my little makeshift one. Now, the ones here in the Rockwell, those are going to go into the big unit. And uh, these I just started to plant in soil. This is just uh, buttercrunch lettuce. It's one of my favorites to uh, grow and favorites to eat. So those will go outside. I leave in 12 days, so maybe I'll try to get them outside um, before I leave. And the ones in the rock wall will go into the hydroponics unit before I leave. And we'll see what it looks like when I come back. So that's the hydroponics. Unit. So I have been thinking about you, and I have uh, uh, made a couple like uh, a work video, and then Ina. Um, they went out swimming. It's kind of cool. I'll, I'll show you this video that Ina made. Um, she went out swimming at this um, platform. Not all the beaches in the Philippines are, you know, white sand, um, beautiful beaches. Where she lives, it's, uh, they're kind of, there's a lot of gravel. The one right across from her house is pretty rocky. Uh, it's not what I'd call, uh, you know, a resort beach. So you'd have to go out there pretty far to get uh, good swimming in there. So they have like these uh, floating platforms um, and they just uh, take those out and uh, swim off those, kind of like a, like, like a pontoon, sort of. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we are here in Barangay Kalipapa. We're going to try their floating cottage. I don't know if how much. We'll see later. Let's 
summer get started. Um, like the, I live, I don't know if you can see here, probably not, but out there in the distance, that's a pleasant lake. Uh, in the wintertime, you can see pretty good. In the summertime, the trees cover it all up. But I, I live like a block away from the lake, so it'd be nice to have something out there because uh, the lake's kind of um, seaweedy, and that's not, no fun touching that with your toes. So let, I made one, one more video for you uh, to show you what I've been uh, working on at work. This is a really nice uh, $150,000 basement remodel uh, with Epley um, Custom Design. That's a company I do a lot of work with. Uh, they're the, the carpenters and construction company and they hired me to do all their painting. But great bunch of guys and uh, they do really good quality work. So take a look at that. Okay, so this is uh, what the basement kind of looked like. It was just plain old unfinished basement, some insulated walls, and this is what a hundred and fifty thousand dollar basement remodel looks like. I'm working on this today. So to stain all this woodwork to match the cabinets. Custom um, bar rail there was um, they had to even build the, the knives. It's, this is completely custom. Yes, yeah, completely custom. All uh, lighted from underneath. It's not finished yet. I've been here for a couple weeks trying to finish this job, but they still have the backsplash to put in and some other things. These columns, I had to uh, match the stain to the cabinets, stain all those and put about four coats of varnish. Everything is run off these, all the lights in the fireplace and everything, but it's also run off an iPad. So these lights still have to be installed, but these are like fake skylights, these hidden recessed lamps here. Nice little closet. Barn doors are the rage. Everyone, everyone's putting these barn doors in their houses now. We do more barn doors lately. And over here, that's two barn doors. But this is kind of cool. When you close this barn door, there's a built-in uh, cabinet here. We're waiting on doors so we can install the doors because we had to build this custom. It was a uh, pant, you know, a, a something you bought, but we had to cut it down and fit it in here. So we got some doors coming. And what's going on over here? So let's show the fireplace and entertainment center. So we got our barn door there. This is just a closet. And over here, we got the 65 inch TV. That's a lighted fireplace underneath with crystals. That's also run off the iPad. You can change colors. It's really cool. I wonder if I can turn it on. Uh, all those lighted shelves have recessed lighting behind there. And of course we had to stain, stain all the wood. Let me see if any of these, no, I don't think so. Cause all the lights are on. I don't know where the controls are for the fireplace. So this is an egress window. There was two egress windows down in the basement. And that was pretty much every, that's all there was when we got here. Everything else was built and a lot of it from scratch. Matter of fact, these lights here that go in these holes she saw a picture, but we couldn't find the lights themselves. So Carlo, the carpenter, he built these custom so they would fit in these recesses up there. Okay. And then we got the bathroom. We're still waiting on the glass for the shower. It's a pretty nice bath. It's, you know, nothing groundbreaking. 
But you figure to do a bathroom remodel like this, you know, it's probably gonna cost you 15 or 20 grand or something like that. And this is gonna be an office. And this is the bedroom where we got the bar stools and stuff. These bar stools are beautiful. This lady's got a few bucks. So, and then over here we got some double doors, but that's storage behind there. And what I'm working on right now is these steps. I stained them, I varnished them. And I put a second coat of stain on this hardwood here to match the rest of the stain. And then we go up to the main floor. So this is what I do for a living. And this is probably one of the most expensive basement remodels we've done, $150,000 for a basement. So, All right, we'll carry on. We'll talk so, later. So there you have it. That's what's been going on. I leave in 12 days. Um, I'm late for the gym right now. That's the other thing that takes up time. I work till five, I come home, try to get a bite to eat, head to the gym. That takes about, you know, hour and a half or so. I come home, I'm exhausted. So as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of color, getting ready for uh, for the uh, Manila trip. And uh, so I'll uh, update you as uh, we get closer to the trip. And until then, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, if you have subscribed, go ahead and hit the bell and um, like, comment, and you know, stay cool, stay warm, and stay classy.